I'm going to be making a fairy lantern today, which is an idea I saw on Pinterest and I was like, okay, this could either be a Pinterest win or a Pinterest fail. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Um, I am <laughs> Irish, mainly, supposedly. I, I, I think so. Um, and I'm named after the Kelly family, which is why my name is Kelly. So, <laughs> uh, fairies have always been a thing that my mother told me about from when I was a really small girl. It's part of folklore, um, and in, for some people it's part of their beliefs. And, uh, yeah, so <laughs> this is going to be um, a birthday present for somebody, and I'm just kind of looking forward to seeing how it comes together in this video. Um, because I want to practice making craft videos, um, and that's kind of it. Okay, so one bit down, um, I'll have to do cleanup later, yeah. But what I thought was interesting was I noticed that right where I wanted to have the butterfly, I could actually pull off this little bit here, because it was on top of it, one of these little doodads, right? So I just pulled it on off. Just like I did with this butterfly earlier with the bouquet of butterflies. And what I'm going to do, let's see if I can actually do a video of me doing this. Well, I don't know if I can because I can't do any hands free, but see that? See those two pieces right there? Where that was, right? I'm going to go ahead and push this butterfly onto that stock. See that? Right there? Where I pushed it on there? Here we are. That's a lot better, right? A lot better than having to deal with trying to glue it abstractly and almost graph it onto the stock. This is technically almost a different form of graphing without any glue. And I like it a lot. So I go ahead and do that. I'm gonna arrange it in here. So I think I have her arranged how I want her. And I'm kind of excited about it because I feel like it looks pretty darn neat. When it's closed, you know, like, it's pretty cool. So, that's without adding the moss at the bottom or anything like that. So, or the lights, <laughs> for that matter. So one of the things I was trying to remember when I was doing this was leave enough room for the little lights, because you're going to have to drape them inside somehow, and make sure that you get your ground cover kind of um, leaning up against some things, like in this case right here with the pink flowers, I'm most likely going to be gluing them to this side here, a little out of sight, hopefully. And um, this butterfly will hopefully be glued to the stalk of this purple, so that will kind of blend in and it'll become one piece. Uh, and then I'll add the moss, and from there, um, I'll work on how the light should be arranged inside, or I might save that for the very end for the complete look and instead focus on whether or not I want to drape anything around the top of this, like unwinding some of this and putting it on top. So, yeah, I'm really happy. Hopefully I can get it to actually look that good when it's glued. Um, arranging it is always so fun. I really wanted her to be at an angle, so she looked more like... It's like a, I don't know, a, a moment in time, but there's movement going on, right? In the arrangement and everything as well. Because I think that's pretty, that's pretty key when you're viewing something. You want it to be visually interesting, right? All right, so, glue time. She looks really sweet in there, all right? But there's the whole scene that I made. Um, I really am very happy with how it turned out. I may have to clean the, uh, windows. That was one mistake that I definitely made that I needed to do before I started anything. But there she is. I'll close it. And I'm going to go ahead and work on the garland on top and placing the lights. And then she'll be... Alright, well, here she is. She's all done. Look at that top. It's gorgeous. There are definitely some things I would do differently next time, including perhaps adding a little back clip-on area here for this, so it's safely out of the lantern, because you don't want to have batteries in there. 
or I may go ahead and get a different kind of light altogether. Luckily, if she really wants to, none of the wires or anything are glued, so she could definitely change out her lights if she wanted to, whatever she wants. I love the fact that I kept trying to hide the wire, but the wire ended up like like behind the ferry or connected to the ferry, and I kind of thought that was very suiting because um, in a lot of lore and a lot of people's tales, people think that they see fairies um, more like as balls of light, right? In some cases. There she is. Her little, in her little garden. Oh, I'm just so happy. I really hope my friend likes it too. I'm going to probably wipe off the outside and insides of the, um, the windows, but I think they look pretty good. She's so cute. See all the way around here. Can I go all the way around? Yep, I sure can. Got a little bit of glue there, but that's okay. Not too bad for a first try, right? I don't think so. Wow, I just had the most fun making this. I want to make more of these. This is just super fun. Um, so hopefully you found this uh, video interesting. I just wanted to start getting used to making craft videos. And I am not going to post this, even though it's really hard for me not to, um, until she gets here, which will be about two weeks from now. So, yeah. All right. Well, like a social butterfly, I gotta go. And until I get a chance to make a craft video again, uh, the next one would probably be the dragon one with all this red and stuff. But, uh, oh my gosh, I'm just so happy. I just got done making um, one of my friend's fairy lanterns, and like I said, I am so super happy with how it turned out because I was so scared because she's like an amazing artist. I know, I know, I have the privilege of knowing quite a few amazing artists, and um, I'm just always kind of like, I, I am not an artist, but here, let me just try and make this look nice and magical for you. <laughs> so, um, I'm really hoping that, that, um, she likes it. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking she will, <laughs> but, uh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I was so scared. Like, there were times where I was putting all that, a little flowers together and, like, arranging it where I was, like, I was actually pretty calm, but inside I was shaking. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to mess this up. So, because I only had one lantern, um, yeah, so I'm super duper happy, um, and I'm talking to her right now being like, I don't really want to wait to show it to you <laughs> for two weeks, um, she's like, I'm biased, I'm like, I kind of, I kind of might show it to you, um, so I may go ahead and either send her photos and or this video, because I'm just kind of like, look at it, do you like it? Please, let me know, it's driving me nuts. So, yeah, because she's flying here to Las Vegas to visit me um, for the first time since I've moved here. She's been here once, um, but it was on the way back from orientation at Prescott College because she went with me that one time to Prescott, Arizona, which was super fun. That was a lot of fun to go um, there with her. Um, they have a lot of cool art galleries, and so it's pretty touristy. They also have a lot of... Um, we didn't go on them at the time because both of our... Well, mine especially, my health situation wasn't great, so <laughs> at the time we didn't go any trails or anything. Maybe if we go back sometime we will, but there's like um, little lakes, actually not so little lakes, like lakes and dells and hiking trails in Prescott, so maybe when I get a chance to go back with her sometime we'll get to do all that. But anyway, um, she's flying here for the first time, she's, she, or not first time, she hasn't flown in 10 years, so she's kind of like I was last spring when I flew to, uh, to the, to, uh, Washington <laughs> to visit people and be like, hello, I still exist. Do you still exist? And had a good time because I hadn't flown since I was two years old. So I had to go through TSA and have all this metal in my spine. So that was kind of interesting. So she'll be going through a smaller airport. So hopefully that will be less stressful for her. And, um, I'll be picking her up at McCarran. It'll be fun. Uh, I'm looking forward to finally getting to hang out with my friend. I really, 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 really have missed her and a bunch of other people <laughs> because I've moved kind of on my own um, out here to the Southwest. I mean, I have my, my folks and my family and stuff, but mm, it's not the same as having your friends from, you know, where you lived for 13 years 
or people that you met at dorm that you really got close to. So, yeah. Two friends. <laughs>